This is a crisis, but quite frankly, it does not need to stay that way. We have it within our ability to get this under control, and that is what we are going to do. The mandated cut is supposed to ease a glut of 35 million barrels of crude, slashing it almost in half over a period of about three months. A short-term fix while the province battles to increase pipeline capacity. It's a problem that is costing the province millions, and the stakes are very real. Jobs, industries, and communities. Fort McMurray was built by oil money, and in good times it grew fast. But when prices collapsed, local businesses suffered. Tonight, the CBC's David Thurton asks residents if the province's intervention is enough. Because busy's there. During the boom times four years ago, this garage was jammed on a daily basis with vehicles needing repair. Today, there is only one truck in the shop. Local businesses have suffered from the weak price of oil, especially at its recent rock bottom levels. So you'd think any measures aimed at boosting that price would be welcome news here. But for the shop's owner, anything short of a new pipeline isn't good enough. Richard Chunnick says that's why Alberta is in this mess. Yes, I think it could have been avoided to get into a bottleneck like we're in right now. Our daily special. Across the street from Chenick's repair shop, this diner has also fallen on hard times. And when the server hears about oil production cuts, she worries about job cuts. Fort McMurray is an oil town, and I just don't want to see more harm before the good can come out of it. This oil sands activist says short-term layoffs are worth it if the industry finds its feet. Catastrophic closure of oil plants and all that will be far worse for our province. Already the region's mayor sees signs the cuts are working. At least that's in the short term the immediate reaction we've seen is that the prices have gone up. So that's exactly what was predicted and exactly what's happened. Many people here see production cuts as nothing but a short term fix. To fix this slump they need a pipeline and they need the government to make it happen. David Thurton, CBC News, Fort McMurray. This isn't the first or likely the last time Alberta will see this kind of crisis or this kind of controversial response. As Aaron Collins tells us, industry is hoping the gamble pays off. It's been a lean fall for this oil field services company, one of many paying the price for Alberta's bargain basement crude. If our utilization rates continue to be as low as they are because industry can't make money in the oil and gas business, it's the end result's going to be that people are going to get laid off. It sucks. Since the fall, Alberta producers have been receiving around $40 less per barrel than those in the U.S., a problem caused by too much oil and not enough pipes and rail cars to get it to market. A crisis Alberta's premier says is costing the economy $80 million a day. What we have going on right now is fiscal and economic insanity. And we just have to stop giving away our most important commodity for free. The hope is that by cutting supply, prices will bounce back, a move championed by some of the oil companies who will be forced to cut production. This is not a theoretical discussion. We were about to see wholesale devastation in the upstream industry. But not everyone in the oil patch likes the move, but so far at least it might be working. The price paid for Western Canadian crude was up sharply today, and it's not the first time Alberta has tried this. The Premier Ernest Manning did it in the 50s. Peter Law, he did it in 1980. The issue that we're faced with today is of getting product to market is almost 100 years old. This time, the worry is that cutting production will mean a slowdown, but the hope is that it will be followed by brighter days ahead. It's going to overall keep some of the companies profitable enough to like not go out of business. Like we're at a crisis where it's like the lesser of two evils here. A gamble that could help get Alberta's economy rolling again. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.